Do you want your users to be able to edit multiple entries without having to open and edit each record one by one? Yes! This is called a batch update process and it's quite simple and straightforward to do in AppSheet. This is your AppSheet Pinoy expert JP and welcome to our channel where you get tips, tricks, tutorials for everything about AppSheet, Google Sheets, AppScript, Microsoft Excel, and VBA automations. And just like many of you, I am so full of sheets. <laughs> so full of it that I was even featured in the official Google Workspace YouTube channel for the amazing apps that I've built with the company I was with so far. So let's dive in. So here we have a very simple app and we've already added four records in it. And to edit a record, a user simply needs to click on it and then click the edit button and then edit the information that they want to edit. For example, the assigned to column, right? But that can be a lot of clicks for your users, which is why your users can also just simply click on the edit button that leads them straight to the form and then edit the user. But what if there's a lot of records here and your users want to be able to assign the record to a single user without having to open each record one by one. Well, this one is quite simple because we only have four records, but imagine if you have a thousand records already, then it can be quite a pain for your users to edit each record one by one. Oh, so no. it's very simple to do actually. All we have to do is go to our actions page and create an action. Let's name it assign. And this lives on the main table, of course. And the action that we want is to set the values of some columns in this row, this current row, right? So that means if we click this, then it would set the column that we select, in this case, the assigned to, right? Because that's what we want to edit. And then we just put in the data that we want. But since the assigned to column is actually an enumref column pointing to the user's table, then this should be a data that is already existing in our user's table. Like so. However, we can't just create multiple assign buttons for each of the users. What if our users keep changing and new users keeps on adding? What I have in mind is that once I click that assign button, there should be a pop-up asking our users to select the users that they want to assign, right? Because AppSheet already allows your users to actually select multiple records. If you are in a deck or in a table view, if your users tap and hold a record, then it switches into a multi-select mode where the users can select one or more records, right? They can also do it by clicking the tick box that you see here on the top right and then selecting the records that they want, okay? So all we need now is an action because the only available actions we have right here would be the delete button. So we want to add another action. And once we click that action, we want to show a small pop-up that would allow the app user to select an option of the users that they want to assign these records to, right? So that's what we're going to do now. So for now, let's scroll down and put an icon here, maybe user add, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that looks cool. Okay, and as you can see, it already appears. And if you do the multi-selection mode, then that action button already appears as one of the options on the top right of your app interface, right? So what we want is once the user selects these items, he would click on that action and show a pop-up to select the user that we will assign for this specific record. So all we have to do is scroll down and go to that input section, right? Input and click add. And let's name this as a user. You can name it whatever you want, right? Just remember the name that you put to it. And then the type would be text. 
we can actually put a default value here, in which case I can put the admin at appsheetdemo.com, or we can just leave it as plan. Okay, it's up to you. Okay, so since we already have that, let's just save this for now. We can now use this input as the value of what we want to assign to this column. To do it, we use a dot notation for the built-in column called underscore input. Dot, the name of the input column that we just created, which is user. There you go. So it should now be assigning the value of user from the row reference by input. And that input is the one that we created down here. Right? So let's save it. There you go. So let's check it out. We now have two items selected. Once I click it, then it's showing us an input. And then if we select, let's say, user 3 and save it, then it should assign user tree for both January and March. And let's say the February and April, we assign it to user 5 and save it. So let's check out our Google Sheet to see if it worked. And as you can see, it worked perfectly fine. We assigned user tree for January and March, and we assigned user 5 for February and April. And you see how easy it was to do it. Take advantage of this uh, input option under the advanced section of your action. And that would allow you to do a batch assignment or batch updating. You can actually do more than one input, right? If you want to create more inputs, you can do so. And then you can assign it to more columns on the same record. Okay, that's how easy it is. And of course, it can also work one by one. So instead of the users having to click edit here and then changing it here, the user can simply just click that button called the sign and it works the same way. All right. That's how easy it is to do batch update process using input pop-ups for your users. Now, can you just imagine the infinite possibilities that you can do with this input option? What ideas can you think of to implement in your apps? Share with our community in the comments section. And if you got value from this video, I would appreciate a like. And if you are not yet subscribed, then please do subscribe to help my channel grow. So once again, this is your app sheet, you know, expert JP saying you and me and all of us, we are all great sheets. Bye. See ya.